Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we're back in the micro struggle of the utility maximization problem. We're doing a quick video just to go over another numerical example of a utility maximization problem. If you are still having trouble with the main concepts, feel free to check out the longer video on the utility maximization problem or other related micro struggles. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to introduce this utility function. Utility function is of two goods, x1 and x2. The utility is equal to x1 to the one half, x2 to the one half. And our budget constraint for today is going to be 3x1 plus 5x2 is less than or equal to 20. So the price of x1 is three and the price of x2 is five. We know from our previous videos that the way we're gonna solve this is we're gonna say the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the ratio of the prices. And right off the bat, we know the ratio of prices is three fifths. So let's do the marginal rate of substitution. We know that the marginal rate of substitution is equal to the marginal utility of good one over the marginal utility of good two. And we know that the marginal utilities are just those partial derivatives. So we'll go ahead and solve for those now. So the marginal utility of good one is the derivative of this utility function with respect to x1. That's going to be x2 to the one half over two x1 to the one half. Marginal utility of good two is going to be very similar x1 to the one half over 2x2 to the 1 half. We'll go ahead and simplify that before we set that equal to the ratio of prices. So we've got x2 to the 1 half over 2x1 to the 1 half. We'll just flip that fraction to multiply it. So we'll get 2x2 to the 1 half on top over x1 to the 1 half. And we're going to see that these twos are going to cancel out. x2 to the 1 half times x2 to the 1 half is just x2 to the first. Similarly, on the bottom, so we've got x2 over x1. Go ahead and set that equal to the prices. We've got x2 over x1 is equal to 3 fifths. Go ahead and simplify this a little bit. This implies, this is an arrow, not a 7. This implies that 3x1 is equal to 5x2. Go ahead and use that in the budget. Constraint, remember our budget constraint is 3x1 plus 5x2. We're going to go ahead and say that's equal to 20 because remember we want to spend all our money. We like both items, so we want to spend it all. 3x1 equals 5x2. I'm going to go ahead and substitute 5x2 for 3x1 because of this nice equation, this nice equality here. So I'm going to get 5x2 plus 5x2 is equal to 20. So this is 10 X2 equals 20, which says that my X2 is equal to two. And that means that this is three X1 plus 10 is equal to 20. So three X1 equals 10. So X1 is equal to 10 over three. That is our numerical solution. We can real quick, just to get a idea to drive home this concept, if I were to put this on a graph like so with a straight line, if my software will cooperate, there we go. Let's put X1 right here on the X axis and X2 on the Y axis. We'll draw a normal looking budget constraint. This has a slope of negative three fifths. I'm not gonna be super, super detailed on the exact look of the line. And we know from our previous knowledge that this indifference curve is going to come in and it's going to be tangent to this budget line at exactly one point. This is our indifference curve, our utility function. And looking at this analytical solution, we know that this point right here is 10 over three. And this point right here is two. So now we've just done another problem where we have looked at the analytical solution and then just done a quick recap of the graphical solution. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe if these videos are helpful and we'll see you again soon for another Econ Struggle.